Hi, uh, in this video we'll see how to make a, a Android app for controlling a Bluetooth Robo. So this is the app that I've created and this is a Robo. So how to control the Robo from Android devices. So you can see the program here. So the program reads uh, forward, reverse, right, uh, left and stop. Uh, these are the string. Uh, string data that are sent from uh, uh, Android device to the Arduino Robo. Let's see how to create the device. Uh, go to projects, my projects and start a new project and name it uh, PT Remote. Okay. Go to layout and select horizontal layout and select the width to fill parent <coughs> and go to user interface uh, click the list picker and select the width to fill parent okay choose the image load image connect ok so this is the image I'm going to delete the text ok so it's over and I'm going to add a label to know whether the Bluetooth is connected or disconnected, fill parent, select the left to center and delete this. Okay, so this is over. Now I'm going to create a table. A width to fill parent, okay, and three rows and three columns. Okay, now we're given three columns and three rows. So I'm going to use uh, buttons for first button, first button, and second button, third button. and the middle one that so if you uh, go uh, if you want to create a gap between this increase the rows and column length so that you can have a gap between this let's I'm going to pick a image for these buttons I'm going to pick a uh, image for these buttons. So I'm clicking this and selecting an image, upload image, choose a file. So I'm going to use a uh, upward direction. Oops, which one is an upward direction? Right, left, forward, down. I'm going to use image for these buttons. So I'm picking the button and selecting the image, upload a file, choose file, so far forward, open, okay. So I uploaded the image to the button one. And for the button 2 that is to the left side I'm going to pick another image upload a file choose file so this is for the left 
and clicking OK. So I'll up the image files to the left button for the right button image file load a file choose file for the right side okay this is I've selected the right side and for this button this is for downwards uh, the images are loading very slowly so it's taking its own time so that's not a problem we move on and select the image for the buttons rest of the buttons so I'm going to select a image for the button 4 load a file choose a file it's down okay And then image for stop the middle button is for stop upload a file choose file and go on pick a stop okay <coughs> so there okay so these two buttons <coughs> the image are not loaded it's not a problem so once uh, if we create the app there will be an image don't worry if it is not displaying the image in the real time and move to the blogs as usual pick the list picker and it's choose the before picking and Oh, it's really slow. Yeah, set the <coughs> list picker elements. List picker elements to Bluetooth client. So we have added not added the Bluetooth client here. Go to designer. Add a Bluetooth client. Go to connectivity. <coughs> Add a Bluetooth client to this file and go to sensor and add a clock to this so we have added clock and <coughs> bluetooth client go to blocks choose the bluetooth client one bluetooth client one address and names then go to list picker then pick after picking go to control and select if then call the bluetooth <coughs> one and connect to the address then go to list picker one selection then set the links pick a one to the bluetooth client address then call the clock when do the timer choose if then if the bluetooth is available that is the bluetooth client is connected Bluetooth client one is connected then set the label one <coughs> set the label one text to connected connected then if the bluetooth client is not available if the bluetooth client is not available 
set label one text to not connected and if you want the uh, label one text color also you can add it we want text color delete block colors to clean copy this red <coughs> then uh, for the first button uh, which is the button one the button one is a forward button so when you click the button one it has to send a text Bluetooth text to forward Head forward and if you want to know what is the command that you are sending just go to the designer and add a label automatic to fill parent text uh, delete the text and text alignment to center and change the font size to 20 so this would be good then go to blocks <coughs> set your label to text to forward that's it so for the second button that is light duplicate so I think the second button is this is to the left side so it is to move in the left so I'm changing text to left Okay, then change the set label to left. For the third button, it's right. So when we press the third button, it has to send a string to Arduino as right. Right then set the label to right 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 and when you pick the fourth button it has to move down so the bluetooth has to send a string as down I think it's reverse reverse and set the label to reverse so when I click the fifth button it has to send a stringers stop stop and set the label to stop that's it so we have made a android app to control a robo so the app will be look like this so this is how the app looks so when you press the forward button here in the label it is not visible here so if you are having an android device so it will show <coughs> the forward here and the send the command to a and uh, that device that is connected to the arduino to the forward 
if the Arduino device <coughs> receives the command as forward like this and it will move in a forward direction. Thank you.